Cubs pregame live. I'm Gail Fisher alongside Dan Plesak. And we are not pressing the panic button yet, though the train has derailed just a little bit. This is where the conductor tells us how to get back on track. Now, let me just point out, Dan, this is the Cubs' longest losing streak since May of last season when they also lost six in a row. So we are in a bit of some choppy waters here. Oh, it's more than choppy <laughs> waters right now. You, you know, the interesting thing has been, it's, it's really been a lineup wide. There really isn't anybody right now carrying this ball club. Not Alfonso Soriano, not Derek Lee, not Aramis Ramirez. And they went through one of these little funks right after the All-Star break and snapped out of it. And, and you have to give credit, Bronson Arroyo did throw the ball very well last night, but the Cubs have made some pitchers look awfully good the last six or seven games. And it's really getting to that point now where they need to start winning some games and, and playing a little bit behind the eight ball without having Harden and Zambrano puts a little bit extra pressure on the three, four, and five guys in that starting rotation. And last night, Ted Lilly, he simply didn't have it last night. He's, he's really kind of transformed himself into more of an off-speed pitcher using his fastball in the middle innings. And I think what you saw last night is his velocity is down from what it was last year, and it's hard for him to pitch and win and be effective when he's throwing 85, 86 miles an hour. But we're not panicking. We're not panicking. Okay. We're okay. concerned, but we're not, we're not panicking. It's not to the point of jumping yet. All right, but good. But it's getting close. <laughs> the Cubs will try to avoid losing their seventh straight for the first time since 2006. Those bats need to come alive. And for more on tonight's game in Cincinnati, let's join Chris Bowden live from Great American Ballpark. First of all, Chris, did Lou make it to the ballpark from his hotel okay? I think it's just down the street. Yeah, he just uh, he just hopped on the team bus, and I think that was a, a safe call on his part today. Matt Sinatra did the same as well. Uh, good evening, Gail and Dan. Dan, good to hear you. Got back uh, nice and safely after uh, that early plane ride, and I can vouch for Dan saying a lot of Cubs fans here asking Dan whether the Cubs are going to be all right, but he has responded, yeah, this is just a little bit of a dry spell. But Lou Pinella is starting to get a little bit impatient. You know, there's 21 games left, and Lou said that he's just going to go with production, and as a result of that, a notable change in tonight's lineup, and it involves the rookie Kosuke Fukudomi, who had another 0 for 3 last night, and it was not a very good looking 0 for 3, dropping his average to 210 since July 1st. And as a result of that, Micah Hoffpower will get the start in right field tonight and uh, hit in the middle of that batting order, hitting the number uh, 5 spot uh, right ahead of Mark DeRosa. Actually, it should be the number 6 spot in front of Mark DeRosa. Hoffpower had that monster season at AAA this year, 362 with 100 runs driven in in just 71 ball games but when he's got an opportunity up here he's hit well also 20 games hitting 370 so uh, the best case scenario is that Hoffpower will do for the Cubs this season what Giovanni Soto managed to do when he was a late call up last year he produced Luke kept putting him in the lineup and uh, he was your catcher in the playoffs we'll see how it all shakes off with Hoffpower who is 28 years old and hoping to ignite the offense starting tonight I don't think it's a pressure situation. I think, uh, you know, we've gone through a little scuffle here, but uh, I think that uh, you, s you still have to look at the record, overall record, and the overall season. Uh, they played really good baseball so far this season, and, and hopefully we can continue to do that. But uh, as far as a pre pressure situation for me, it's not really. Uh, I'm going to go out, I'm going to have fun, I'm going to play as hard as I can, and uh, hopefully good things happen. But him having that confidence in you probably makes you feel good. Absolutely, it makes me feel really good. Uh, it, it, it gives you a, a little boost, gives you a little uh, vibrance, I guess you could say, and uh, it makes you want to go out and, and, and show him that... Uh, He's, he's not mistaken. And the, to be honest, there's a, a, a slump wide, an offense wide slump right now with this team. Reed Johnson is getting the start tonight in center field. Two for his last 16. Aramis Ramirez, four for 31. Alfonso Soriano, six for 33. The clutch hits lacking, the extra base hits lacking. And Lou says it's time to start playing is now, and he'll put the best lineup out there. These last 20 games or 21 games, I'm going to try to play a lineup that can win a ball game that day. That's what I'm going to do. I mean, I, I played everybody all year. Everybody's gotten opportunities over here. And, and now we're going to try to play a lineup that can win a baseball game that particular night. And uh, if these guys want to stay in the lineup, I mean, uh, swing the bats. I mean, it, it, the opportunity's there for a kid like... Uh, I cough power. I've got Reed Johnson in center field. I mean, you know, he gave us a spark earlier. We're going to give him a chance and, and, and see what he does. And uh, we mix and match, but uh, um, we got to start. We got to start scoring uh, some runs on a little more consistent basis. 
than we have here over the, the, the past week. And then we got to get our rotation back set so that we can get our bullpen set again. I mean, it, it, let me tell you, uh, when it rains, it pours. Well, it's pouring right now, I can tell you. As for the health update, Carlos Zambrano uh, had a little medical session today, a little workout session. He'll do some short toss tomorrow and hopes to throw in St. Louis. They're still not targeting a specific day for next weekend in Houston. Rich Harden was doing some long toss today, may have a bullpen session tomorrow as well. And they have not targeted whether it's going to be Wednesday or Thursday for Harden in St. Louis. It depends on how he feels after the bullpen session. And other factor in that is that Ted Lilly had such a short outing last night that perhaps he'll go Wednesday and they'll use Harden. Harden on Thursday. Chad Godin is out for the entire weekend now. He hasn't pitched since last Friday due to lower back problems. An initial test came out fine, but he will return to Chicago rather than go with the team to St. Louis and get some more tests on that lower back pain on Monday. And that'll do it from here. Jason Marquis will try to shut down Joey Votto. And we'll visit with Jason Marquis a little bit later on the show. And Gail, Dan, let's send it back to you in Chicago. <laughs> All right, Chris. It also looks like there's a uh, all-star mascot game going on behind you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll try to stay out of that. But maybe, hey, maybe if they can hit, Lou ought to play them. I don't know. You know, Chris, I picked a bad night to come back earlier. It would have been nice for me to get in one of those mascot suits. Yeah, and it's a little drier here tonight, too, Dan, I might add. Uh, nothing, a couple clouds here and there, but uh, nothing like what we had to go through last night. All right, Chris, enjoy the game. We look forward to your report afterwards. All right. Dan, this Cubs offense has been anemic lately. Outside of a 9-7 to loss to Philly on Tuesday, the Cubs haven't scored more than three runs in six of their last seven games. And some more numbers for you here. The Cubs have been outscored 36-14 to and shut out twice during this losing streak. Well, Gail, I knew eventually you were going to get into the numbers because you are the numbers lady. And this has really been, it, it's a little bit mystifying because prior to this losing streak, it looked like this team was really starting to get back to being patient working deep counts, getting that big hit, getting that big two out hit. And I think, and, and Lou touched on a little bit, I think what you're seeing also is you're really seeing not having Zambrano and Harden into that rotation. And I know it's just been one turn through the rotation, but when you have a couple of games that get out of hand or you have to win a game eight to seven or you lose a couple of tough games, it's really refreshing if you're Lou Pinello to know that you have one, two, you have Zambrano and Harden going back to back. And it takes a lot of pressure off of the offense when you have two guys like those two when they're throwing well and if they're healthy you don't need to score a lot of runs and then you start to get that mojo feeling back you win a tight game four to two Harden comes back the next day and say you win a game three to one and all of a sudden you start feeling good about yourself and you start look, stop really pointing a finger at who's not hitting what part of the lineup isn't hitting and it's just one of those things and I think what Lou's doing is the right thing he's gonna have to try to mix and match and try to find a spark somebody to get something going in that lineup and they need desperately somebody to step up and get that big hit deliver that knockout punch and they're very capable you look at this lineup up and down up until now this is and I still believe the best offensive team in the National League they're going through a little tailspin right now and on top of that you know you have your one and two pitchers right now not active and it doesn't help things but they'll find a way to work through this well the Cubs pitching also needs to step it up and help stop the bleeding the Cubs will look to Jason Marquis for that let's take a look at our Feltco pitching matchup for tonight Marquis is hoping to get into the double digit win column with his 10th victory of the season he's got a 4.46 ERA Johnny Cueto goes for the red he pitched well against the Cubs the last time he faced them, but he did leave his last start with an elbow strain, so not sure if he'll be 100%. If he is, he's pitching well. Dan, this matchup almost seems even on paper anyway. Well, Jason Marquis, really, his bugaboo has been his second halves the last couple of seasons. He's thrown the ball much better than his numbers indicate the last three or four starts. The big key for Jason Marquis is to work quickly and sometimes he's his own worst enemy. He seems to have that one inning instead of limiting the damage to a run or two, it gets away from him and he has one of those three or four run innings. One of the keys I think for him is to work quick, keep the tempo of the game really fast and the games that he's pitched very well, he and Giovanni Soto seem to be right on tune. He doesn't shake off a lot of pitches. He doesn't spend a lot of time between pitches walking around the mound thinking about what the next pitch should be. When he gets the ball, he's really set on what that next pitch should be, deliver that pitch, get the ball back. When he keeps the tempo of the game moving, he seems to throw better.
All right, Johnny Cueto has been quite the surprise for the Reds. Here's a look at who he'll, he be, he'll, he will be facing tonight, I should say, the Cubs starting lineup. It is the usual lineup, except with half power in right for Fukudomi, as Chris reported about. Reed Johnson will play center. Now, last night, the Cubs' major hitters, Soriano, Lee, and Ramirez, went a combined one for nine. More numbers, Dan, but numbers do not lie. Aram, in particular, is slumping. You know, he's got 100 RBI, which leads this team, but he's two for 26 with six strikeouts during the six-game skid. Well, well, the problem, you go back and you look at this losing streak, is the Cubs have had some opportunities, with the exception of the game last night. Now, that game got out of hand early. They were down 5 nothing. Then after the grand slam, down 9 to nothing, and it's tough to come back when you're down 9 to nothing going into the fifth inning. But you look at this, you look at that lineup, and you see Alfonso Soriano is not swinging the bat real well right now. Aramis Ramirez and Derek Lee, if they can get one of those three to get hot, they're the type of guys that can carry a team for three or four days in a row. And Alfonso Soriano can look really bad for four or five games, and then all of a sudden have one at bat where he connects, and then he can get really hot and stay hot for a week to 10 days. And they're looking right now for somebody in that lineup up to be that guy to come up big and carry this team till they get everybody else going. It could be in the mascots that we just saw. Still to come on the show, we'll hear more from Lou Pinellas pregame comments. And Dan Plesak tells us if he thinks the Cubs should shut down Carlos Zambrano and Rich Harden until the playoffs. That and more when we take you to game time in Cincinnati. And there they are, the mascots with our very own Chris Bowden. Cubs pregame live is brought to you in part by Menards. At Menards, you'll find big lumber yards, big selection, and big savings. Get all the supplies you need for any project at Menards. This half horsepower chain drive garage door opener from Chamberlain is only $129. This three quarter horsepower model can open doors up to eight feet tall, only $188. Make cleaning quick and easy with a Brew Tough Briggs and Stratton pressure washer. This 2500 PSI model with 160 cc Honda engine has four quick connect spray tips and includes a bonus turbo nozzle, only $279. Save big money at Menards. Hi, I'm Scott, and this is Jim, the voice of Lexus, to tell you about the IS. Treat yourself to a ride in the IS, and you will be enveloped. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. Whoa. With its sumptuous exterior. Whoa. Whoa. Perforated leather, including a leather trim shift knob. <laughs> a leather shift dip knob. See your Chicago area and Northwest Indiana Lexus dealer. Chicagoans love their pizza. That's why you come to Giordano's, some for 30 years now. We use only the finest ingredients to make Giordano's famous stuffed pizza, our equally famous thin crust pizza, plus salads, pastas, sandwiches, and more. Come on into Giordano's and celebrate 30 great years with us. Giordano's famous stuffed pizza. We made it good, you made it famous. For many men, an interview suit is a first step toward a second chance. Donate your gently used professional clothing during the Men's Warehouse National Suit Drive and receive a 10% discount toward your next purchase. I guarantee it. I'd like to propose a toast to one of the best decisions I've ever made. I never thought it could be so easy or that I could get this much in return. It's time to love your carpet. Call Luna for your second room free and a low price guarantee. Look at you. Plus, we got our second room free. Call Luna today and get ready to love your carpet. Honey, it's been a month. Can I come in now? 773-202. Luna. Ah, shoes. You're watching the home of the Bulls, Blackhawks, Cubs, and White Sox, Comcast Sportsnet. The Cubs' lead in the NL Central has dwindled to just four games. They'll try to halt a six-game losing streak tonight in Cincinnati. Cub fans out in full force at Great American Ballpark. Game two between the Cubs and Reds coming up at the top of the hour. And maybe tonight is the night for the offense to turn around. Derek Lee and Aramis Ramirez each have 12 career home runs at the Great American Ballpark. That's tied with third all-time in that park. And welcome back to Lexus uh, Cubs pregame live. The offense isn't the Cubs' only concern. The pitching hasn't been there either during this losing skid. Ted Lilly struggled last night, and the Cubs are relying on Jason Marquis to pitch well. 
and chew up some innings to save the pen a bit tonight. And Dan, when you start to see the starting pitching falter the way it has late in the season, do the alarm bells start to sound? Well, you get to this point of the season right now, and you've worked so hard. You have a team right now with a four-game lead with 21 games remaining. And the, this starting rotation has really been the backbone, the reason that this team is four games in front right now, 29 games over 500. It has been the starting pitching. It has been good all season long. But it's awfully tough when you're missing two guys like Zambrano and Harden. You depend on those kind of guys. They're the guys at the top of the rotation. And really, this is really going to put a lot of extra pressure right now on Ryan Dempster and Jason Marquis and Ted Lilly and Sean Marshall to step it up. Ryan Dempster right now is without question the Cubs' best pitcher. I, he lost a tough one the other night. He gave up three runs against Houston. He's been consistent. He's been good from the first week of the season up till now. He showed no signs whatsoever of slowing down, being tired or fatigue and so that's one good positive that he's the guy right now that's going to assume that role of being the number one guy until Harden and Zambrano come back. Well Lou Pinella made it to the ballpark in plenty of time tonight. His biggest concern though is making sure his team hasn't lost their way. They've won 85 games so far this year and could still win 100 but they need to get back in the left hand column fast. Pinella has been as baffled as anyone lately. Here's Lou's take just a short time ago. I'm open to uh, to production that's what I'm open to I mean I'm open uh, we got 21 I mean 21 games left right I mean the people that are getting the job done uh, are, or, 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 or are they the ones that are gonna be getting the, the, the bulk of the playing time I'm talking about pitching wise and hitting wise so I, I look I, I, I have been fair I've given everybody opportunities all year. This is time now where people that are getting the job done are the people that are going to play. It's plain and simple. All right, in the NL Central, the Cubs head into tonight's game. Four games up on Milwaukee. The Brewers host the Padres, while the Phillies-Mets game was postponed. They will play a doubleheader tomorrow if you're looking at those wild card standings. And, Dan, you know, you see the Los Angeles Angels playing very complacent. They've lost 10 of their last 16 games. But they have a 17-game cushion in the AL West. The Cubs don't have that kind of cushion in the division, but they sort of do in the wild card race. It would be almost impossible for them not to make the playoffs, at least in the wild card. So, with that being said, should the Cubs shut down maybe a Carlos Zambrano and a Rich Harden and save those guys for the postseason? Well, it, it's really a tough thing because you have to really be careful. The last thing you want to do with a pitcher, whether it be in the bullpen or the starting rotation, is to shut somebody down for a week to 10 days and hope to get one start the last week of the season. In a perfect world, it would be nice if they could maybe skip them a turn, maybe two, and you'd like to be able to give your starting pitchers two, possibly three starts before the postseason starts. Now, Carlos Zambrano just had an injection, so he's probably not going to be able to start playing catch for at least another day or two. And then you'd like to be able to ease him in. And whether he pitches next weekend at Houston is not a big concern to me. Now, listen, that's not going to be the difference of the Cubs making the postseason or not. But I do think it is very important that the first start or two bat that you don't overextend him, maybe limit him to 75 or 85 pitches. No matter how good he feels, you take all, you take the element of him deciding how long he's going to pitch, set it at a number of pitches, a certain amount of innings, and the same thing with Rich Harden. But I do think it is important that you get them at least two starts before the postseason starts. One start to kind of work the kinks out, to get themselves back in, and the second start to get themselves fine-tuned. I don't think it's a really a good idea to go into the postseason having one start, you shut somebody down for two to three weeks, and you're going to feel like you're going to start a game on a Wednesday or Thursday, then the postseason starts. You'd like to have two and possibly three. So if they miss a turn here and there, it's going to be up to the other guys in this starting rotation right now to fill in. All right, so stick with the plan. The Angels have that division wrapped up. You still think the Cubs are going to win this division? There's no question that the Cubs are going to win this. Every time this team has been tested, you could go back two months ago, they were reeling and went up to Milwaukee, and they had all of the roadblocks. They had everything blocked on I-94 at the state line, and the big blue train <laughs> went right through it all. So I still think they're going to win this division. And when this team had, there, and there it is, Gail. Slow it down a little bit. Every time this team has had their back up against the wall, they have found a way to respond. It's the same group of guys, not, without the exception right now, not having Zambrano and Harden active right now. But they will be, and they'll come back, and they'll pitch well. Am I concerned about them winning the division? No, because they still are 
the best team. They were the best team a week ago, and they couldn't have gone that bad that quick in seven games. All right, the conductor says we're still aboard the big blue train, and it's still heading to the playoffs via a division title. They have to beat the Reds tonight, though. When we come back, we'll hear from tonight's starting pitcher, Jason Marquis. In celebration of our 100th anniversary, we're sharing our GM employee discount with everyone. You pay what we pay. Not a cent more. The GM employee discount. For everyone. Just announced, the employee discount for everyone is now extended on Buick Enclave with better fuel efficiency than Acura MDX. And right now, you can get a Buick Enclave starting at just $29,950. Offer ends September 30th. Are you looking to improve the efficiency and productivity of your small business? International Profit Associates is the nation's leader in management consulting for small and medium-sized companies. We can provide a comprehensive evaluation of your business and offer a wide variety of professional services to fit your needs. Our business analysts will assess your company's strengths and weaknesses. From operations to tech services, IPA is full service and can help take your business to the next level. Call IPA today to take the first step toward growing your business. Built on a sports car platform with a seven-speed automatic transmission, the all-new 390 horsepower Infiniti FX. The power to boldly reinvent the norm. Meeting a teen girl online is easy. They're so desperate for attention. Attention from older guys is flattering. They get me more than guys my age. Age lets me play the support of older guy and act interested. Interested in the same things. You get to know someone when you're Chatting talking. seems unthreatening to them. Once I talk about how perfect we are for each other... Other people don't understand. If you trust someone, what's wrong with me? Meeting them is the goal. That's when things get really interesting. Online predators know what they're doing. Do you? Since 1961, Black Hawk Bank & Trust has been a proud partner with the Quad Cities community. Through nearly five decades, Black Hawk Bank has grown from one branch to a mature bank of 10 Illinois and three Iowa branches. We now serve Rock Island, Henry, and Scott counties. In May of 2008, Black Hawk Bank and & Trust and Great River Bank became one. Together, we carry on the tradition of local ownership, family ties, and community banking. Choose the chief and experience the security of banking with a safe, solid local bank that is not for sale. McDonald's Sports Rise, every morning, only on Comcast Sportsnet, fan's best friend. Today's Cubs game on Comcast Sportsnet is available in high definition on Comcast Channel 200 in Chicagoland and Channel 922 in Central Illinois. Check out ComcastSportsnet.com for HD channel information. Jason Markey, who sat in the Cubs' pen last year for the playoffs, is suddenly the team's go-to starter as they aim for the postseason this year and try to haul the six-game skid. Markey looking for win number 10 tonight. Our Chris Bowden caught up with Markey, who's been the model of consistency in what's been a shaky few weeks for the team. Thanks a lot, and Jason. I know you, you came into this season with a, a second-half plan to be better after the All-Star break. And are you happy the way it's been working so far? Yeah, I've been making progress and uh, <clears throat> like the direction I'm headed in, and I'm going to keep working to get better. So, uh, you know, I really sat down this offseason and, and really tried to focus on what's held me back, you know, in the second half. And, uh, you know, like I said, try to make strides, and I'm going to keep working at it. And the last two starts in particular you have to be really pleased with, even though, you know, you didn't get the result the last time out. Yeah, no, I'm very happy with the way I'm throwing the ball, uh, executing pitches. I uh, got a good downhill plane. Uh, secondary pitches, I'm able to throw strikes, and uh, I'm getting ahead. So uh, you know, I'm just doing my job, getting ground balls, let my defense do the work, and just try to throw the least amount of pitches in, in the game. With uh, Carlos and Rich having some downtime right now, is it difficult for you and and, and uh, Ted and and uh, Ryan to to kind of you know not get you know, put too much pressure on yourself, especially with this team being in the position that it's in right now? Well, I feel confident whenever I take the ball, whether those guys are healthy or not, and uh, you know I go out there and, and try to pitch my game. I try not to let any outside influences affect the way I do my job, and uh, that goes from the way I feel to the way somebody else feels, and. Uh, that's all you could do is just go out there, try to execute pitches, stick to the game plan, and I think everything will, will fall into place. 
All right, thanks, Chris. You know, Dan, all things considering, Marquis has been pitching well for the Cubs lately. Who would have thought Marquis to be the stabilizer right now? He did take a tough loss to Houston, three to nothing, his last time out. But otherwise, he had won three uh, of his last four starts. Well, that's one of the things when you have a veteran pitcher that has been through this. His bugaboo has been his second halves have been a little bit dismal the last couple of seasons. He's throwing the ball really well right now, and it couldn't come at a better time. They desperately need him to step up. There should be a lineup if he's throwing strike early. He should be able to get through this lineup. All right. Well, first pitch is right around the corner. We'll get Dan's Lexus keys to the game after this final timeout. Cubs pregame live is brought to you by your Chicago area Lexus dealer who invites you to test drive a Lexus today. Hi, I'm Scott and this is Jim, the voice of Lexus to tell you about the IS. Treat yourself to a ride in the IS and you will be enveloped. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, With its sumptuous exterior, oh, perforated leather, including a leather trim shift knob. A leather shift tip top. See your Chicago area and Northwest Indiana Lexus dealer. Ride in first class to your next game, outing, or airport transfer with Windy City Limousine. Choose from an assortment of classy high-end vehicles to make your night out truly worthwhile. Anything less than prompt, professional, and courteous service just won't cut it. The vehicles are new and clean. Talk about green. You can move 40 people at once in a minibus. Just call 866-94-WINDY. You can even book your own trip online, windycitylimos.com. From sedans to SUVs, limousines to vans, and buses from 14 to 56 people. It's all at Windy City Limo. It's about time. Cubs Baseball on Comcast Sportsnet is brought to you in part by American Chartered Bank. American Chartered, the bank for your business. Member FDIC, an equal housing lender. Never before has the gecko been captured on film talking about RV insurance. So, you guys travel a lot. You should check out Geico and get a free rate quote on RV insurance. This is truly history in the making. You can also get a rate quote on motorcycle insurance, ATV insurance, personal watercraft insurance. Sounds good. Excuse me, I'm up here. Geico, saving you money on insurance for your car and the other stuff that moves you. Can you match this? <laughs> Shouldn't be a problem. Cool. Ooh. This? Yes. This? Got it. This? Sure. Let me show you. With our free color matching system, Lowe's can match any color you can come up with or come in with. This? 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 this. Absolutely. And Lowe's carries high-quality Valspar paint. Lowe's. Let's build something together. Guests on Cubs pregame live receive gift certificates to Harry Carey's legendary Italian steakhouse. Located in Chicago, Rosemont, and Lombard. Welcome back. First pitch between the Cubs and Reds is coming up in just a few minutes, but our show wouldn't be complete without Dan Plesak's Lexus keys to the game. Dan, what do you well, have? Well, I think the big key is, is Votto and Bruce look awfully comfortable, particularly Joey Votto. He has made a killing for the Cub pitchers this year. I believe eight home runs this year, and he looks awfully comfortable, and it wouldn't be a bad idea to make him move his feet, run some fastballs in, back him back off the plate, get him uncomfortable. And I think the other key is we've tried everything Gail lately. We've tried the blue Kool-Aid. I put the thing on Bronson Arroyo and that didn't work. So tonight we're going to be, if you're watching the game, put the rally caps on. <laughs> it's time. We're pulling out all stops. Rally caps on, Cubs Nation. Something has got to work, Dan. You keep that cap on. They really do have to salvage this series. It only gets harder as they head to St. Louis and Houston next. At least just emotionally, they have to try to win this series now. Gail, this hat is going to stay on for the <laughs> entire game, and this is, this is going to turn the season around. It's new mojo for the Cubs. This is a big game tonight because I think you get this game tonight, and it's, it's really the second game of a long road trip going to St. Louis, then to Houston. This is a team right now. You have a young pitcher uh, for the Cincinnati Reds coming off his first start coming off some problems with his elbow primed to hopefully they can jump on him early get some runs and give Jason Marquis some breathing room all right the six game losing streak stops here according to Dan Plesak and his rally cap. rally caps on it is game time Len Casper and Bob Brenly have the call enjoy the game everyone Dan and I will see you afterwards